Zirconia has revolutionized our dental world. Now you can give zirconia veneer, single crowns or full mouth implant prosthesis made up of zirconia only. But sometimes questions comes in our mind ki how to bond zirconia perfectly. Hi, I am Dr. Roy Sharma from GDS Dental and today we are going to discuss about bonding protocols of zirconia. When we give zirconia crown, there can be two type of crowns. A zirconia crown which have retentive features and enough occlusal clearance and second could be a crown with less retentive features. Let's discuss these cases. Crown. Let's see first situation you have proper retention or you have conventional tooth preparation that is retentive and enough occlusion clearance. In this scenario you can use any cement like type 1 GIC, resin modified GIC, adhesive cement or self adhesive cement and your zirconia crown will last long. In my clinic, in this type of scenario, I use self adhesive cement as it saves my time. But if your zirconia crown don't have retention or it is thin and weak due to less occlusion space, then we have to bone zirconia to tooth. And in order to have successful restoration, your lab plays important role. If zirconia restoration doesn't have close fit, then your restoration will fail. So if you want to have best restoration, you can rely on GDS Dental Lab. For bonding zirconia, we have to follow five steps. And these steps are according to APC concept. And 10 MDP is key to bonding as it make chemical bond to tooth and to zirconia also. Step first, checking fit, aesthetic, occlusion of zirconia restoration. Step two, preparing tooth surface. In order to have best result, tooth surface should be biofilm free. So I use my scaler to clean surface, then we can use prophylaxis space to remove all biofilm. If you have sandblaster, then it is best option. After cleaning, apply etchant according to selective etch technique. That is 15 second application to enamel and composite. After that, universal bonding agent is rubbed for 20 seconds and air dried for 5 seconds and then light cured. I like to use Ivoclar adhesive universal bonding agent because it contains 10 MDP which is key ingredient for bonding. Now let's move to step 3. Preparing our zirconia restoration. We have to clean our restoration, micro etch it and then apply metal primer. We have to sandblast our restoration with 50 micrometer alumina particle which will create rough surface. Chair side air abrasive are also available in market. You can sandblast restoration for 2 minutes at 0.2 pressure mug in your chair. You won't see any surface change with your eyes, so don't over sandblast your restoration. But if you don't have sandblast, then ask your lab guy to sandblast it. If in case you got your zirconia crown from GDS Dental Lab, then it is already sandblasted. Don't re-micro etch it with your sandblast, it will weaken your restoration. After micro etching, we have to clean surface of restoration. I like to use IvoClean because while trying salivary protein makes bond with zirconia and bonding with tooth will be hampered so ivoclean is must. Lastly we have to apply metal primer silane as it enhances bonding. But if we can use metal primer which has 10 mdp also then bonding will be more strong. Hence I use monobond and or monobond plus. Don't use monobond H and prime in zirconia. After this, we are ready for bonding zirconia. In step four, we should use self-cure or dual cure resin to ensure adequate polymerization as light may not pass through zirconia. And again, 10 MDP is key to bonding. So we have to use cement containing 10 MDP. I will use multilink. After cementation, firm pressure should be applied to squeeze out extra cement. 2 second light cure initially to clean extra cement and after cleaning completely cure it and wait for setting time. Now we are ready for last step. Step 5. Adjusting occlusion and final polishing. 
After final occlusion adjustment, zirconia should be polished as zirconia will not smooth out over time during mastication. And researchers also found that there is more wear of natural teeth if zirconia is left rough due to its hardness. For this, I use Diapol for my final polishing. Thank you for watching. If you have any problem regarding zirconia bonding, you can directly WhatsApp to me. Thank you for watching.